needed, but we wanted to always do more. You know, we get 10 kids here, and 20 kids here, and another 15 here, what's the next thing? So Marty said, you know, Hillary, start a soccer league. I think that'll be an important endeavor to take on. So we started a soccer league, and it was um, total chaos, but what came out of the chaos was what you refer to as social capital. Um, perhaps it is in human nature to want to help when you see there's a good reason to help. And I know I looked like I needed help when there were 600 kids that wanted to play soccer and only two adults out there in charge of them. So a lot of parents stepped up and those parents were, um, were asked to continue helping and they did. They all stepped into coaching roles. Um, we formed a soccer advisory board made up of those parents and now Six years later, we just completed well, we just completed our sixth season with 1,300 kids, over 100 adult volunteers as coaches and soccer parents, uh, team parents. Um, we created 21 jobs for youth referees, and um, and every team did community service to pay it forward. Um, and now many of those same parents are working on planning a, a block party this Friday for the rest of the community. So that is. Um, social capital achieved. Um, we are supportive and we're facilitating with our staff involvement and the sheriff's office deputies, you know, making sure it's safe, but also helping the community understand um, what they can do to help make this, the place safe. Um, and that has been the case um, now in many of our programs. So our basketball league has turned into the same thing, run by parents, a parent advisory board, they do their own fundraising. Um, they are getting trained to be the, to be coaches and referees, so they can take on the league. And we don't have to. Um, we're not. Desal is no longer the answer. Desal is the facilitator to the answer. 